WFNN. Headline News Update. Good morning, everyone, on this Thursday, Thursday, the 27th, 26th of January. And uh, this is the 11 o'clock Tiger Financial News Network market update. Dow's down 85 at 33,653. That was a fabulous turnaround in the market yesterday. Uh, but I anticipated that because of that last hour surge that we're going to give some of that back and that it was more a technical uh, turnaround where once you started that turn, you made higher highs and higher lows instead of suddenly pulling back very sharply yet again. A lot of people just had a cover, and that's basically what we were looking at. So within that context, we're now down 101 in the S&P. The S&P was leaving the Dow all from the futures early this morning, even last night, into this, into this morning's action. It run up, ran up to 4,052. It's now at 4,015, down uh, just a, just a uh, third, what? S&P is down, uh, it's unchanged at this particular point. Uh, you're looking at the QQQ, NDX 100 trading vehicle, up a dollar, 23, 28. Let's call it 289. Uh, leg, I've got this as a leg F. That might not be the case. I, the way I'm looking at the market, there's a certain vulnerability I'm looking at both up and down that could last all the way through Monday and Tuesday of next, as we get into the end of the month. Um, so that says... The upside has a lot of resistance. The down the resistance at the 33,900s and it's pulled back. And we'll be watching this very closely. The IWM, which is the Russell 2000, is down 80 cents at 186. It's in leg D. It just went above the resistance level. Now it's back again. But now this is very interesting. I never got a chance to do this in my show. Gold is down 18. This is exactly the moment with the unbalanced volume finally turning down. This is not a big deal. We're not even under yesterday's low, but this is exactly the sign that I was looking for that the, uh, I don't want to do that now. I'll do this in the next hour. I'm going to be doing Steve Rhodes' hour. He's not here, uh, evidently, and I will, I'll take that hour. But uh, we do, a lot of questions came in. I'll do it with the Chapman Wave methodology. So as soon as we get back, that's what we're looking at. I didn't even do silver. Let me look at silver right now. Silver's also pulling back. Remember, silver's at this rectangle sideways pattern for weeks now and you're looking at crude oil crude oil did very nicely earlier on it's up a dollar 20 now stuck it got a lot of resistance at 82 and it's trading at 81.34 looking at the tlt never did get to that tlt is pulling back 74 cents so yields are going a tad high i think yields are just stuck in a range for now i'll be back in a moment and i'll be doing the hour from 11 o'clock Till noon, that's Steve's hour. I, I love to do live, so I'll be doing a, a, the live show. And uh, see you in a few moments. Hope you can stay.